Dingle Dangles. These are cute little heart embellishments. These are hearts, but you can make them in other shapes. And we are going to be learning how to do these quick little fun crafty things today. Hi, it's Rebecca and welcome back to day 10. Can you believe it is day 10 already of our daily creative practice? I can hardly wait to share this with you because this is this is really a fun craft, I think. I think it may be a little hard for me to teach with teach you, but I hope I can make that happen. So these are just little embellishments for your pages, for your pockets, like we made before, or envelopes or other things we're going to make in our book as time goes by. And all you need is very few things. We're going to make it with, um, we're going to make the hearts out of the little index cards that we made the very first day with our faux jelly pad technique. And... Let's just dive right in and let me show you what we're doing. I'm going to hold this close. I just drew some heart shapes on my index card. Five, six, seven, eight. I can get eight out of one of these cards. That is amazing. And of course, you just cut them out. And I, again, like to draw with watercolor pencils because I can put water on them and make the lines go away. So I don't like to draw with a real pencil or something that um, will stay on my heart, if that makes sense. So you can erase it if you use something that you don't... Um, if you don't have watercolor pencils, you can use just a really light pencil or even a mechanical pencil. Just keep it real, real light. Or you can go with it and make dark marks around it like we did on the card. So anyway, I'm going to take a hole punch. I take a pretty small one. And this one just happens to be a heart. And punch it in the corner of one side. You can see I bought this for $1.99 at one of my thrift stores, obviously. So, it's great to have those kind of things, isn't it? So, anyway, just do whatever it takes to make a hole in one corner of it. And then the, the hard part starts. <laughs> we are. I am going to teach you today how to make this little spiral. Hope you can see that. That is, it's really easy to make once you understand the concept. It is not easy to make otherwise. When I first started this, I was, um, I was taking the wire and kind of spiraling it this way, back over itself. Let me get this piece here. I was kind of just putting this in and like wrapping the actual needle nose pliers. And of course, I could, it was having a hard time coming off and it was wonky, absolutely wonky. So let me show you the right way to do this. You want to have a fairly long piece, four or five inches, the longer the better when you're first starting. And of course, however big you, however long you make it is how long or bigger round your spiral is actually going to be. So the first thing you do is just make this little teeny spiral in there and crimp it. Let me hold this up close. Crimp it as tightly as you can. Then you want your long side out here and you want to clamp the little circle you made in between your pliers. And what we're going to do is wrap this up and around like a 90 degree turn there. I think it's 90 degrees. We're going to move our pliers and we're just going to wrap some more. And every time we wrap, we're going to move our pliers. Move and wrap. I hope I'm staying on camera for you. Move and wrap. Move and wrap. Get my 
hand out of the way. So you're always wrapping over the front. You're moving it and wrapping over. I hope that makes sense. I think what I'll do is just make a little printable and a little piece of paper to show you that on paper also so you can understand it <laughs> a little bit better. I'm, I'm just hoping that I actually was able to give you a little bit of that on here. <laughs> Does that make sense? I just wanted you to be able to see it, and I'm not sure that it comes across beautifully. So anyway, I want to stick a couple of little beads on here. This is really hard to do when you're holding it out. I kind of tend to do stuff with my face right in it, and that doesn't look too cool on camera. So again, let me find my little hole. There we go. <laughs> Come on, Rebecca, you can do this. Anyway, there you go. There's three little beads on there. And I am just going to put it through my hole and create the dangle. And I'm going to go the opposite way to make the little thing that wraps my page, if that makes sense. And we can stop here. You can stop there and just make a big um, hole that you can sew on the page. But I kind of like to clip over the edges of things. So what we're going to do is just make the spiral again in the other direction. So I'm going to do it one more time for you. Turn that in. Pinch it small. Clamp it. It's a little harder once you get the heart on. And twist up and around. Clamp and around. Clamp and around. And then you work with it bending it. And I, I forgot to tell you probably, but I like to use like 18 or 22 gauge wire. That's what I like. And the wire is fun because it comes in a whole bunch of colors, fun colors. And it's not very expensive. As you can see, this one was 98 cents, but there you can see all the different colors. That's a very thin one. But it comes in bright, shiny colors, which I tend to love and that was these are from a big box store from the craft department at a big box store so you can find those easily everywhere so anyway I want you to get into your studios today where it's almost the weekend so we've got lots of time to play on the weekend hopefully so get into your studios and make some of these wire things. Practice the wire thing. It only takes probably a couple of times of doing it to actually get the hang of it. And the secret is these nice little round tipped needle nose pliers. I want to make sure that you can see those. And you can buy a little pliers kit anywhere. And you really need... A wire cutter of some sort. This is the cutter piece. And as you can see, my tools don't match very well, but that's okay. So get into your studio, get into your creative practice, and let me know what you're doing, especially if you have any questions or thoughts or anything you would like to see me do. I would love to hear from you on Creativa. That's my page on Facebook. So that's how you would get a hold of me easily. Or again, this is also on my Instagram, which is Rebecca E. Parsons. 
And so I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to day 11. I look forward to being in my studio a little bit longer today and playing with these things and seeing what I can come up with. So this is Rebecca checking out for another day. And may peace be with you all.